Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? Yeah, have you ever heard of American pickers picking in the backwoods of America? Have you ever heard of Matt with part-time pickers on YouTube? Have you ever heard of Lonnie on garage flips, um, shed flip, whatever? Yeah, Lonnie. Have you ever heard of the Cincinnati picker? Have you ever heard of the Commonwealth picker? I've been watching them for years. I forgot to put them on there. And have you ever heard of, what's his name, from Kentucky? Yeah, the, I can't think of his name now. The Tesla picker. Dave, have you ever heard of him? Yeah, but this is Kevin from St. Louis. And I just want to tell y'all that we pick in the hood too. Yeah. I got a little stand right here. I like it. You know what I'm saying? I could have my hands free and do stuff. Hi, y'all want? I can have my hands free, you know what I'm saying? And it feel better having my hands free like this because I can pick up more stuff. You know what I mean? I wish I could do this in, in um, see that must, I wish I could do this in, in the thrift stores, you know what I'm saying? Have my hands free and grab stuff. I'm walking around that phone like this, that sucks. But anyway, I told you I was gonna make a video about what I sold. I mean, not what I sold, what I bought in a thrift store the other day. I got pink eye, look. What I bought in a thrift store the other day, you know. So I'm gonna just show y'all a couple of things that I got, and um, I'm gonna put the prices on the on the screen when I get finished because I looked the stuff up, but there's so much stuff I forgot the prices on. Anyway, first up, I paid four dollars for this. See that four dollars? It's some kind of leg stimulator. I ain't really get into it to look it up yet, but it's it's by uh, Vena Vena Pro. It's enhance your life through innovation. I don't know. You put on your legs and it vibrates or something. I don't know what it does. But all I know is I looked it up and it's worth a little money. I'm going to put it on the screen to show how much it's worth because I, I forgot. You know what I'm saying? Then I bought this. This was $2. By Ravel. Ravel. It's a puzzle Viking. I'm not a puzzle. A model Viking ship. You know what I'm saying? I looked in there and it looked like everything's here. You know, it looked like it, when I, I, I remember the price on this. It looked like it was selling for over thirty dollars on eBay. Over thirty dollars, you know. I spent seventy four dollars in, in this one store. These bags right here, I pay five dollars for these vacuum bags. Sometimes you guys know I like I like selling vacuum bags. You know what I'm saying? Look at that box. This is like a rich person vacuum. So I saw this box. I was like. This is probably some money right here. The rich people vacuums. You know what I'm saying? In a box like this. I buy Hoover. They in a little bag. A little Ziploc. You know what I'm saying? Look at this box. It looks like it's expensive as hell. But anyway, I got this. And I think it was. I think when I looked it up, it was over $20. For that. Six vacuum bags. I got this Monopoly game. Disney Monopoly game. $4. I don't hardly pay $4 for no game. Use these games are $2 or a dollar. And, and I haven't bought this many games in so long, but it's a whole lot of games, y'all. Anyway, this Monopoly game, Disney Monopoly game, four dollars. I looked it up; it's over twenty. Hope this stuff don't fall, y'all. Then, how many of you old heads remember this? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Yeah, see that game? I paid two dollars for that. I think two dollars. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Yeah, y'all don't remember that? Y'all young people definitely don't remember it. Anyway, I got that. It was made, I forgot the year. I looked it up. 1995, I think. Anyway, whatever. It's old. Like me. It's old. Then this right here really got me to buy any games. I saw this. Beat the eight ball. See that? I paid $2 for this. I looked it up. I think it's like $40. I looked in there. Everything's in here. Beat the eight ball. You know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to I'm I'm call, um, not call. What's that dude's name? Um, the auction professor. I'm going to email him with pictures of some of this stuff to see if he can. Because I can't find uh, one of these games on. I forgot which one it was. But I can't find it nowhere. So I'm going to call the auction professor. He know everything. I'm going to email him, send him the pictures to see if he can find that. You know, that's what I'm going to do. And I got these pictures right here. 
I wasn't gonna sell them. These are a dollar piece. They just prints of different foreign stuff. I was just gonna hang these up on the wall. These were a dollar piece. Um, I got this stainless steel cup right here, brand new in the package. Stainless steel. It's got the little pink stuff on it. I tried looking it up, I couldn't find it, but it's a dollar and it's brand new in the box. So I grabbed it. Y'all know I like selling coffee mugs. Take this one out. You ever seen one like that? Bam! Welcome to the gun show. <laughs> Woo, that was 50 cent. You see that? I mean, I'm sorry, that one was $2. Usually they're 50 cent. They don't have a tag on them, they're 50 cent. Just most of them are a dollar. But you know, they saw these arms on it and they saw me coming, they put that $2 on that mother sucker. You know what I mean? Word to the mothership. Anyway, let me cover my eye up. That eye look horrible. And actually, I don't know if it's, if it's, uh, I don't know if it's red, pink eye or nothing. I don't, I really can't say if it's pink eye. Because I did some straining the other day. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know, if you're old, you get kind of constipated. So, you know, if you're old, you know what I'm talking about then, you know. But anyway, got this game in a pickle. I got that on eBay for 15 That's on there for $15. This game right here, Racco. It's on up for $15. This was made in 1967 or some crap. Right there. Everything's in there. Then I got some brand new games. It's still wrapped up. You know, this is ESPN Trivia Travel. I mean, uh, Trivia uh, Challenge. See, I paid $2 for that. Brand new. It's selling on eBay for $19. Brand new. Let me see what else I got. I hope this stuff don't fall, y'all. Okay, this is the um, the logo game brand new the logo game see i paid two dollars for that brand new brand spanking new i used to buy all these games i keep telling you I, I buy a couple of games that's it but i saw all these brand new games i start snatching especially after i looked them up the price and i got this monopoly deluxe game i wish it was brand new because this brand new would be fifty dollars okay this is used and um I ain't even looking there yet to see if everything was in there yet. I'm still going through this stuff. I got so much stuff. I'm gonna use this for my for my own this personal trimmer, the trim labels and stuff like that. Instead of cutting it with scissors, I I can just use this to cut it. So I'm gonna use this. To keep that. Um, that Scalibur chess game. I paid a dollar for that. I think. Huh? What the price at? Okay, oh, that was four dollars. I usually don't pay four dollars for stuff. I must have looked this up, and it must have been selling. But anyway, um, and this puzzle right here, this puzzle was—I bought it, but I, like I told y'all, I usually don't buy puzzles that's open. But this puzzle right here is forty dollars, so I had to get it. I gotta take a chance. Somebody count the pieces of piece missing and want to refund? I refund them. But anyway, whatever. Dollar. You know, I, I usually don't take chances on puzzles. But I'm taking a chance with this one. You know what I mean? Hold on, y'all. Let me get some more stuff. Let me bring, get this down for a fall. Because it might fall. You know what I'm saying? When I walk away. Hold on. One, one minute. I looked in this and there's some pieces missing. But this auto chest, 1957, I got that. And y'all never seen this. I'm gonna send this to to, uh, to, to the dude and um, the show, uh, professor, the auction professor. I never seen this. This is a checkers game. It's got Bud-like bottles and Bud, but I don't even drink, so I don't know. Budweiser bottles and Bud-like bottles. I don't know what the difference is. I don't drink. But anyway, I'm gonna send them this because I never seen it before. I love when people clean their houses out. You know, I clean houses out too. I got a handyman business. I clean houses out. I do all that. And I find all kinds of stuff in houses that people leave in their house. But anyway, I got some more stuff. Hold on. I wasn't prepared for this. Wait one minute. You see this? 
This is a craft thing. I don't know what the hell they do with this. It's a craft thing. I looked it up while I was in the store. I buy craft stuff all the time. And it's worth a little money. I looked this one up. It was selling for $80. Oh, no, it was selling for $89. I put mine on up for $80. A couple of hours later, somebody bought it. And I'm going to tell you how, how much people want this. It was a guy that, that emailed me and said my price was high. So I was like, what the hell are you talking about? And, but I, did, I really couldn't understand because he's from Puerto Rico or something. He had all Spanish. So it had this, uh, when he emailed me, excuse me, what the hell was that? He had this translator on there. So I put the translator and he was saying my price is too high. He was trying to offer me $50 for it. So I took, excuse me, I took a screenshot of, of the ones that were selling for $89 and stuff like that. And I sent it to him. I said, my price is based on what other people are selling stuff for. Then I haven't heard from him since. You know what I'm saying? But somebody else bought it, so it don't make no difference. And uh, hold on a minute, I got some more stuff. Y'all see this? It's a brand new scanner. The scanner sells for, th for thirty nine. dollars don't have the box. This Canon Santa, it's brand uh, scanner. It's brand new. It's brand new, except for it don't have the box. Okay. This Midland Weather Radio. It's got the plug and everything to go with it. I paid two dollars for this. I paid. I think I paid six dollars for the scanner. Or two dollars, whatever. Five dollars. This scan. This why it was two dollars. This selling on eBay for twenty nine. Hold on, dog. We got some kids books. This was two dollars. It's selling on eBay for twenty nine. This was two dollars. I mean, this is four dollars. I already got this on eBay. I, I put this on eBay the other day. I think I put it on there for twenty four dollars or something like that. I got this uh this little pet thing. It's a raccoon. I paid twenty five cents for this. So I'm if I if I put on it for seven dollars or something, it ain't I don't care. I paid fifty cents. This will really threw me off. Y'all see this? Two dollars. This is a gold N64 controller. So when I saw it, woo, I went crazy. This thing about forty, fifty dollars. You know what I'm saying? But uh they don't have a Nintendo name right there. They don't have the name. So I might keep this for my own personal Super Nintendo. The Nintendo 64, I mean. You know. Sometimes you bite the dust. It was just $2, though. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes you buy stuff and you have to eat it if it don't sell. Let me get the rest of the stuff. I'm telling you, I got a lot of stuff. Let me get the rest of it and go through it because it's 13 minutes already. Hold on a minute. Okay, I'm back, y'all. Y'all know I like selling eyeglasses. So I got a whole lot of eyeglass cases, too. A whole lot of them. But I don't feel like showing you each one of them because it takes a lot of time. Okay? But, damn. I got so much stuff in this thing, it broke. I'll say this for almost last. This is a DS. It's got three games in it. It's got the plug. It's got three games and it's got two extra stylus. I paid $15 for this. I never paid $15 for one item. I paid $15 for this package right here. They had more, but it was like $25 for the rest. I said, nah, right. I'd rather get that hot pink one. You know what I'm saying? These light bulbs right here, brand new light bulbs. Um, like the light bulbs in that store is 50 cent a piece, right? So I saw this box, I saw six of them in there. Um, I thought they were 50 cent a piece. The master said they were 50 cent a piece, so I bought them. When I got home, put it out, it was a dollar on there. See that dollar? It was a dollar on there, so I got these for half price, you know what I'm saying? 
I ain't trying to brag or nothing. But I got these for half price. They sell them for $12, $12 something a piece on eBay. All right. This is a gem right here. I saw this. I ain't even look it up. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I could sell these. I thought I was going to get about $29 for it. Guess how much I got for this. I looked it up. They were selling for $99. So I put mine on it for $99. And about 15 minutes later, somebody bought it. So if you see these brand new, buy them even used a $39. Huh? Y'all better get these. You see them, get them. I'm telling you, I'll put it on the screen how much it sold for because there's some people out there that don't believe the hype. You know what I'm saying? Don't, 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 don't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype. Blah, 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 blah. Don't believe the hype. You better believe this hype. You know what I'm saying? Woo! $99, 15 minutes. I already put this on another video, but I want to show my boy Matt. Look at her. I got me some floaties, Matt. You know what I'm saying? Woo! That one don't sell for that much, though. But I got me some floaties, two of them. You know what I'm saying? This one, this one back in the 90s, though. Look at that swimsuit. <laughs> yeah. One more thing, y'all. Well, that's it for today. That's it for today, y'all. You know, but I, whew, I, I'm going to take this phone off so you can see all this stuff. So you get an idea because look at that. Look at that. And actually, I got more bags. So, you know, y'all better get out there as soon as these strip stores open because people clean out their houses. And it's stuff everywhere. I could have easily spent another couple of hundred dollars, I mean, a hundred more dollars in there. Easily. But I had to pass some of that stuff up. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that stuff made me tired. Woo! That's a whole lot of stuff. And then trying to get it in in over 15 minutes is something else. But anyway, I got more stuff, but I can't, you know bring it out right now time running out plus I'm it, it, it doesn't hurt me trying to you know do this stuff so I just want to tell y'all that this Kevin from St. Louis I've been picking since I mean I've been picking forever I've been on eBay I mean eBay since 2002 2002 I started out selling video games you know just regular video games on uh, on eBay on Christmas time you know, selling eBay games. I used to sell all games, boy. I still got thousands and thousands of games. Anyway, that's where I started at. About a year ago, I, I decided to, you know, take it on, a, take it, not for a time, but sell everything. And I've been doing pretty good, you know. But since the lock, lockdown, I've been getting a whole, like, double, triple my stuff. So, you know, I got nine, ten things going out tomorrow. I used to sell six stuff, six, uh, four to six things a day. Now I sell in between nine to 20 something you know what i'm saying so um i just sold three more video games my shelf ain't even look like no video games move that shelf over there and up under my new packing area you know it's, it don't look like i moved, sold no games because i got so many but anyway this is kevin from st louis and i would give y'all some tips today but the time running out but let me tell you something you know what i'm saying all the other pickers out there I, I, I didn't get your name in or whatever, but I just want y'all to know that we pick in the hood too. Yeah, peace.